Let's build great families. So many beautiful things come from being a husband and wife, father and mother. Join us and let's journey together. Everybody. Good day, good afternoon, and good morning wherever you are. Yeah. Saan ba tayo napapanood? <laughs> <laughs> Globally, apparently. Thank you so much for joining us again. I'm Denise Price. And I am Paul Price. And this is Family, Family Watch, Watch Live. Live. At Family Watch, we bring you Catholic conversation. And we believe that the path to the renewal of society and transformation of the church begins in and through the family by strengthening marriages, empowering parents, and bringing families closer to Christ. Tonight's episode is slightly exciting, slightly tricky. <laughs> the title <laughs> is Malaking Familia, Mahirap o Masaya. So we will be talking about responsible parenthood and three of the gods of God's gifts in responsible parenthood. So tonight, I will introduce our guest, Honey. Um, he is the training director of Womb Philippines and also the associate director of Womb International in Australia. Please welcome Mr. Raymond Ganar. Hello, good evening to all of you. And also good morning and good afternoon to <laughs> those people watching abroad. No? So again, thank you so much to Paul and Denise for inviting me tonight in this episode uh, regarding what is this? Masay, malaking pamilya, masaya, o mahirap? Yes. 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 Magandang tanong yon. Yeah, dahil kami mismo ang tagal namin pinag-usapan kung, kung ano ang dapat i-title nga sa episode na to eh. Parang how how do we encourage other people to come and watch us? So I mean the the entire show would cover um building great families. Strong. And this is fr- strong. Oh, great. Yes. Yeah. And then that's from the very start, and that's what we've been encouraging you. You ng hinihikayat namin sa inyo na mag nang sama-sama tayo ng i i angat or ano tawo dun or i itaguyod natin yung ating mga pamilya or yeah. Yeah, so the the at the beginning now we talked about the theme for the year in Family Watch Live was build great families. So this is so we talked about how to have a date as husband and wife. We talked about money, money pera, we talked tayo. about raising boys and uh, raising, raising girls. girls. And now we're gonna talk about planning the family. Paano ba tong yeah. ganito? <laughs> Mostly it covers on um, responsible parenthood and um The number one issue there also is um, intimacy within marriage. Ito yung mainly topic na parang ano ba ang responsibility ko as a husband or ano yung responsibility ko as a wife when it comes to rearing or bringing up children. Or in general, how, what's my responsibility when it comes to being a parent? Yeah. And then and this is one of the main topics of that um, goal of building great families. Diba? And we thank you very much, Sir Raymond, for um, being with us. Say yeah. yes. No problem. For saying yes. Say Basta yes. kayong so, dalawa, natin no problem. Yeah, yeah. Pa- paano natin umpisan? Okay. So, and um, main, uh, paano natin simulan is basically on the teaching of um, the teaching of the church, our Catholic church, on the goods of marriage which is springing forth from uh, which this there are two goods of marriage that's the uh, goods for the the good of the spouses anong rason na magsasama kayo or mag, mag-aasawa kayo that's the good of the spouses and um, the upbringing or the procreation of children so yung those are the two the two prong of uh, marriages yeah of marriage And then we are on the second part. That's the openness and 
the procreation of children or upbringing of the children. So, so honey, pag sinabi kasi yung pro-life tayo, bilang katoliko, pro-life tayo, we are open to life. Ano ba ibig sabihin nun? I mean, simpleng tao lang po kami, Paul and Denise, ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng pagiging open to life? Dapat ba? Para tayong rabbits na malaki ang pamilya, madaming anak, o paano ba? Ano ba talaga ang open to life? Yeah. So yun ang itatanong natin kay Sir Rally. Sige. Ano ba? Okay. Sir Raymond, can you explain to us ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng openness to children or open to life? So, uh, I don't want to be ano, sound yung preach, you know, but in the lens of the Catholic Church, which is based on natural law, no? Ang marriage has two pillars. Dalawa yung pillars na yan eh. The first one is fidelity, which is unitive. Until death do us part. That is the first pillar. And the second pillar is fecundity, meaning fruitfulness and transmission of life. According to the second one, yung fecundity, conjugal love is always fecund. And by their nature, it is ordained toward procreation. Ang pag-aasawa talaga, yan ang kanyang end. No? To procreate, to participate in God's ability in creating an immortal soul. Okay? Wow. So, yung sexual activity of the couple is always gearing to what? To the participation. No? Uh, God's participation to God's ability in creating an immortal soul. No, hindi lang basta baby, but immortal soul. That is the, the meaning of the openness in life. Kaya lang, hindi naman ibig sabihin yan na gusto mo mag-anak na mag-anak, may, meron siya naka, ano, nakakabit na tinatawag natin responsibility, no? which is very important. Na kapag ikaw ay nagbigay ng buhay sa mundo, kailangan matupad mo yung isang napakahalagang bagay and this is the role of the parents to accompany the children, the young people towards human perfection. So dapat madala mo sila doon. And what is human perfection? May dalawa din siyang pillars. Number one, they need to study. Kailangan mag-aral. Hindi pwedeng hindi. And then when they study, they achieve human perfection. And at the same time, spiritual formation. So, as the couple participate in God's ability in creating an immortal soul, couples are called to responsibility in guiding these children to achieve what we call human perfection. Kaya lang, sabi nga ng tinatawag nating isang encyclical sa Humanivite, hindi lahat ng intercourse is considered to be what? Fruitful or fecund. That is written in Humanity, Humanity Vitae number 11. It says, In fact, as experience bears witness, not all conjugal act will result into a new life. Okay? God has, God has wisely or ordered laws of nature. Ito yung batas ng ano, no? laws of nature that women, they have days of fertility and days of infertility. In such a way, this loss of nature okay, will now give chance to couples to space the number of their children. So that is the... <laughs> diba? Hindi naman lahat ng sexual act, nakita yan ng, ano, ng, 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 ng ating simbahan using science as a barometer. Not all sexual act, kasi sabi, sexual act is always a participation in God's ability in creating an immortal soul. Kaya lang there are moments by the loss of nature, hindi lahat ng sexual act, magkakaroon ka ng baby. And oh, those days... Let, let, those let, let's break it down. Oh, okay. Doon mo na ako. Okay, sige po. Openness to life. Kasi ang ganda na sinabi mo na Pag sinabi pa lang openness to life, you are participating in God's plan. You yes. are not just making babies. This isn't just about yeah, uh, ilan ng anak mo ba na papakainin mo, na nabubuhayin mo. mo. Oh. Hindi lang yun. But you are participating 
in God's plans in making souls that will be brought up to heaven. So, yes. pag-isipin mo Eternal. talaga... Yeah, eternity for eternity talaga. So, <laughs> kung isi, you have to remove yourself as husband and wife to think na mahirap mag-anak. Or, na kung iisipin mo lang talaga yung mga basic needs na papakainin mo, paliliguan mo, etc. Change ah, yeah. diapers. You know, for... Naku, yan tama ka dyan, ka, Denise, diba? no? Tama, kasi lahat But ngayon really ng mga magulang, this- ganyan ang pag-thinking. Pag magkakaroon ng anak, nakafocus sila sa bibig, added food on the table, yes. di ba? expenses, hindi na nakikita yung mga kamay. Those are the hands that will accompany you when you get old. That's why ang pagkakaroon ng anak is a gift. No. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> ang galing. So that's the first one, yung openness to life, honey. No? Hmm. You, uh, when we talk about this thing called our family, building great families, As husband and wife, we are called to be open to life. So that, pero that doesn't mean, yun nga yung segue na ito. So, okay, open to life muna, that means we are participating in God's plan. Yun pa lang eh, angat ka na. You are not animals. You are not, you know, plants and trees and flowers on the ground. You are much more special. And if you think of it that way, it really becomes such a beautiful gift. No? So that openness to life is a participation, which Sir Raymond said brings you to the next topic of responsible parenthood. Ano nga yun, Sir Raymond? <laughs> yung, kasi yung responsible parenthood, ano yun eh, masyadong malawak siya. Kaya lang meron siyang end goal, ang responsible parenthood, to accompany your children towards, itong pinakamahalaga, human perfection kailangan ma-achieve niya yung human perfect perfection. At paano niya ma-achieve? Kailangan ang nanay at tatay, ang kanilang mga anak, paaralin nila. no Because okay. education is a venue for a child to achieve human perfection. That is one of the greatest responsibility of parents to send children to school. Kaya lang hindi lang academics, hindi lang siya pwede, hindi lang magiging doktor, magiging nurse, magiging abogado. Hindi lang yun. Hmm. Meron pang isa. Yung isa is yung tinatawag na spiritual formation. No? Kailangan sila ay maging mabuting tao in the eyes of God. Meaning, towards And a life society. of holiness. Kaya ito yeah. yung dalawang pillars ng human perfection. So, yan yung summary or end goal. Bakit mo sila pinapakain, pinapaaral? Bakit mo dinadala sa simbahan? Anong hmm. meaning yun? Isa, yun yung meaning. You want your children to end up, what? Perfectly as humans. And that is yeah. the role of parents. Which mabigat yun. Diba? So yeah. Mabigat And, talaga. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A perfect offering back to God. Mm-hmm. Parang inaalay mo ulit yung mga anak mo. Mm-hmm. Pabalik sa Diyos. Binigay sa iyo uh, God's gift. Perfect. You, you reared them, educated, mm-hmm. and pastoral formation. All of that. And then when it's their time to go back, perfect naman siya. Ang ganda Saka, nun. Ano yan? Very biblical. Di ba? Yeah. We are called to perfection. Yeah. Like yeah. our God. And yun ang gagawin ng parents. Yun ang sumatotal yung end goal, the summary of responsible parenthood. So, kumbaga, if you can also summarize it in, ano, Sir Raymond, now, building great families is rearing your children according to those two pillars na you said education and the pastoral uh, formation of children also. So that's also a good way of looking at it, yeah? Yeah, so sa in- the initial thinking na ayaw mong magkaanak, parang mapapaisip pa ngayon, bakit ayaw mo ng blessing? Yeah. Oh, so oh, parang tama. Ba- because the kid- children themselves are, the- are blessings from God. Ang mm-hmm. bigat nun. Oh, mabigat, no? Ngayon, ngayon pa lang, nare-realize ko na. Kaya nga, sa, kaya nga kayo, no? <laughs> ngayon pa lang. Least, di ba sa ano, nagbibigay tayo ng mga pre-K na dapat siya maintindihan ng mga those man and women na will enter to marital life that to, to have a child is an act of generosity coming from the couple. The more children you have, the more generous you are to God in giving immortal souls. Di ba? 
<laughs> so in that loving of husband and wife now coming together the mm-hmm. offspring is that generosity so yes it is when an you act love, of generosity you come together and then you become generous you give of yourself uh, magluluto ka ng ilang Ooh, beses diba? maglalaba ka ng ilang everything. beses yeah and then that becomes your prayer and that becomes your offering to god mm. Galing. Yeah. Galing. So, okay. So, okay na. Kung halimbawa, <laughs> Sir Raymond, eh, open na kami to life bago kami mag-asawa. Uh, uh, speaking open. of pre-K na, uh, Sir Raymond, uh, parang <laughs> importante ako. daw na malaman pa lang nung nag-pre-K na ka lang. Minsan karamihan kasi nung nag-pre-K na, hinatupag nila, eh, sir, naalala nila, is yung ilang guest pupunta, <laughs> invitahan ba nila si Benito, or hindi, yung gastos. But hindi hindi yung talaga yung, ano, pa... yung yung end ng marriage yung twofold end yung sinabi ko kanina unitive and procreation that yeah. is very important dalawa ba yun yeah. pag magets mo lang yun kahit okay na <laughs> <laughs> so yun nga so yun nga na so kung halimbawa ay eh, open to life na kami na realize na namin na ang pagkakaroon pala ng anak eh ma- You are participating in God's plan. You mm-hmm. are, you are, I mean, just that sentence alone, as I'm saying it, is so deep and so yes. profound and so blessed. Mm-hmm. You are already participating. But what if, Sir Raymond, mahirap kami? Or mm-hmm. ano, nakawalong cesarean section na ako, <laughs> Sir Raymond, hindi na okay. kaya pa. Okay. At paano ba yung mga ganito? Ayan, magandang tanong yan, Paul and Dennis. Alam mo, ating simbahan naman, hindi pa mahigpit sa ganyan. No? They can see yung, t- yung tinatawag natin mga, yung realities of life. You know, yes. Humanity Vita number 16, eto ang sabi niya. If couples are in grave situation and there is a need to space the number of children, the church teaches to take into account the natural rhythm of the body without offending moral principles. Di ba napakaganda? If then, <laughs> if couples <laughs> are in grave situation, grave, yung sinabi mo, uh, maybe series of cesareans na baka dangerous na sa oneself, maybe due to financial reason, maybe due to anxiety, depression, etc. and the couples are not ready. These are examples of grave situation. Then the church is allowing the couple no, to space the number of their children. But take note, not to offend moral principles. Please follow the natural rhythm of the body. Yaan yung uh, tinatawag nating way of the church reaching out to those couples who are not yet ready to give life to the world. Okay, so yun nga no. So okay, open to life tayo and then but hindi naman kaya lahat may sakit or ganyan. Paano namin halimba nag-uusap kami mag-asawa, sorry man, hindi naman namin maintindihan kung na- tama ba nasa grave situation ba talaga kami. Ano ang magandang gawin namin? Mag-usap ba kami sa isang bishop or magdasal kami? Ano ang maganda naming paraan para malaman kung tama ba yung decision na yung mag-asawa na mag-space muna, ibig sabihin, hindi muna mabubuntis yes. dahil so yung, nga sa grave reason yung na yun. Yung sinabi mo kanina, yung counseling, spiritual direction, no? kung mga ka-avail ang mga couples, that is number one. With the guidance of a priest no? or a Catholic counselor, mabibigyan kayo ng guide. Guide, no? you are really in this particular situation, so pwede. Or isa pa would be what? Would be your kayo mag-asawa mag-uusap your discernment no because of your communication to one another talagang nakita niyo hindi pa kayo handa and you are mature enough to make that particular decision then you can have no intercourse during the days wherein the woman is infertile no open to life pa rin yun the sexual act during the days of infertility it's considered to be what considered to be open to life bucket kasi there is no barrier no there is still total giving both of you are naked the man totally gives himself to the wife and the wife 
totally give herself to the husband. Total giving. Walang barrier. The moment gumamit ng condom, there is a barrier. It is no longer open to life. The moment you take hormonal contraceptives, merong barrier. Mm-hmm. Hindi na rin siya open to life. No? Openness yeah. to life is both. No? Either intercourse during the days of fertile period or during the days of infertile period because you are following the natural rhythm of the body. Wow. Yeah. So, <laughs> ang daming mga malaman na mga sinasabi ni Sir Raymond, no? Yeah. So, he's saying na, na you can space, you can, pwede namang hindi mo na mabuntis, hindi mo na yes. mag-anap. Yes, ang tawag natin doon talaga postponing, no? Hindi natin Post- ginagamit na limiting. That is two different thing, no? I want to have a limited number of children dalawa lang. That is that that is not that is not correct. But postponing you are open to life. You are only postponing because there is a reason and the reason is grave enough for you to what to postpone pregnancy for the meantime. Pag umayos na uli, then again you can have another child. Okay, so... <laughs> Paano naman, Sir Ali? Like, ako ang lalaki, parang kailangan ko pa bang malaman yan? O okay. nga. Ano ba ang papel uh, ng mga hindi lalaki? Ba, hindi ba dapat like responsibility lang ng asawa ko yan? Uh, kailangan, dalawa kasi nga, ang transmission of life is a joint responsibility. no? It is a responsibility coming from the husband at saka sa wife. At yun nga, tinatawag nating joint responsibility kasi pag walang joint responsibility then the problem now would be uh, couples now will result into the practice of contraceptives kasi uh, wala eh uh, yung tatay gusto niya gabi-gabi dapat hmm. you know, walang 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 spirit of abstinence na, na na-develop sa kanyang buhay so it will be oh. very difficult now to ano to to ano to apply for example a natural family planning for those couples who would like to postpone pregnancy so joint responsibility so dapat mag-asawa talaga pag-usapan mm-hmm. na to no so so to sort of like bring it towards the end na tayo so we're open to life but then there are just reasons in order to space our pregnancy. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. pwede tayong mag-spacing muna kung merong mga grave reasons. And yung mga grave reasons na yun, pag-usapan nyo po with your parish priest or mag-discern kayong mag-asawa. Hindi ito overnight decision, by the way. Mm-hmm. It is a long process of praying and talking about it. And then, paano sir, Rally? Okay, nag-decide na kami. Nag-usap na kami with yeah. the bishop na... Okay, we need to space. Wag muna tayo mabuntis. Ano naman ang available are, options yeah. and ano ba ang magandang gawin namin bilang mag-asawa? So, with that, you can now uh, look for a person who can instruct you regarding natural family planning, no? Natural family planning is is aligned to the teaching of the church. It respects natural law, it respects the natural rhythm of the body. So, yun. Yun ang inyong first step. To know a method. A method that you will practice in your marital life. Eh, alin ang recommended nyo po, Sir Raymond? <laughs> <laughs> Alam mo ba, marami tayong natural family planning methods, no? Kaya lang, may isang method na if you will compare them to the rest, it is a perfect method. No? Why? Itong method na to, number one, uh, ito ay initiative ng isang pare from Australia. Ang pangalan niya is si Father Maurice Katarinich. Si Father Katarinich, during the early 50s, naramdaman niya na ang simbahan walang ma-offer na maayos na natural family planning because all natural family planning during that time is very limited. Pwede mo lamang siyang ma-apply sa iyong buhay kung ikaw ay tinatawag natin normal 28-day cycle. Kung ikaw ay hindi 28-day cycle, hindi mo siya magagamit. I'm referring to the natural family planning developed by Dr. Ogaino, yung rhythm method. Meron din tayong BBT, the body basal temperature, which is only applicable for what? Talagang perfect ang health mo at hindi ka stressful mother. 
at ano pa, hindi ka nagkakaubo, nagkakasipon. Because pag may mga ganyang ka mga factors, hindi mo magagamit ng maayos yung tem- thermometer in getting your temperature. But Father Katarinich mm. was able to convince a doctor, ang pangalan niya si Dr. John Billings. No? And Dr. John Billings, in 1953, responded to the call of Father Maurice Katarinich, dinevelop niya ang isang method at nung na-develop ito, maraming scientists, hindi anuhan nakita ng mga scientists all over the world. Ang ganda naman itong method na to. At sabi nila, I, we are very willing to help you to perfect the method. Take note that to perfect. Dumating si Professor James Brown, si Professor Eric Odeblad, at tinulungan siya to perfect the method. And in 19, 1966, dumating din si Dr. Evelyn Billings, asawa ni Dr. John, to help. At ito ay na-perfect ng mga circle of scientists. Bakit siya tinawag na perfect? Kasi hindi niya kailangan ng backup method. Kung ikaw ay normal, pwede. Check. Kung ang cycle mo, irregular, check. Kung ikaw approaching menopausal, <laughs> nagbabago ang cycle mo, pwede. Check. check. Kung ikaw naman ay biglang tumigil sa hormonal contraceptives at magulo ang cycle mo, Pwede ang billings, check. Breastfeeding, sir. Kung ikaw ay nagbe-breastfeeding, check. Kung ikaw may lagnat, mayroong trangkaso. Meaning, whatever stages ng isang babae, yung method is applicable. Kaya for example, kung gagamit ka ng BBT, which is also good, kaya lang pag ikaw nilagnat, hindi mo siya magagamit. Because your temperature is what? Erratic. Kasi may lagnat ka. So, anong gagawin mo? magba-back up ka, ano bang pwede? Kaya nagba-back up, kaya nagkaroon ang tinatawag na symptothermal. Kasi yung temperature, hindi siya maayos because of the changing temperature of the body, naghanap ngayon ng other symptoms. Kaya symptothermal. But the, meron din tayong lactational amenorrhea. It is a method na pwede mong gamitin pag ikaw ay nagbe-breastfeeding. Pag natapos ka mag-breastfeeding, hindi mo na pwedeng gamitin yung method na yun. <laughs> Kaya yung Billings method among all other methods naging ano talaga siya issue among the the ano scientific circle ang tawag nila because the method can solve any type of cycle from Parang puberty magic, until <laughs> menopausal ayun Bebe sige na si Raymond sa lahat ng nakikinig ngayon ano ba tong Billings ovulation method kaya mo bang ituro? Malapit na tayong matapos. Okay. Ngayon. Yung feelings kasi, uh, you can summarize it in three words, no? Fertile when wet. Kapag basa, bata in Filipino. At kailan lamang may basa? Kapag ikaw ay merong menstruation, you are fertile. At kapag meron kang mucus yung white mens. Kaya lang, paano masasabi na fertile yung mucus mo? Kailangan nagbabago siya changing pattern. According to Dr. Billings, the mucus starts with a sticky sensation, it becomes wet, and it becomes slippery. Paano mo malalamang wet, sticky, or slippery? Do not use the fingers. Meron talagang sense organ for the sensation, and that is the vulva. Hindi mo siya kailangang hawakan because the fingers are not sensitive enough to identify real sensation. Kaya ito, Paul and Dennis, Billings method is the only method applicable also to blind couples. Kasi oh, wala ang galing. Yes. Kaya talaga na perfect yan ni Dr. Billings. Ang sasabihin lang ng bulag, ako ba ay malagkit? Ako ba ay basa? Ako ba ay madulas? And the couple, even though they are blind, they can follow the teaching of the church by using the natural rhythm of the body without okay. offending moral principles. So honey, mm. ang natural ang body pala natin, no? Mm. Has this signs that will show you kung fertile ka or hindi. So that's the sign when you will say, "Oh, darling, pwede tonight." Or, "Oops, hindi pwede tonight," 'di ba? So, madali lang pala and it is there's no cost sir Raymond, 'di ba? Wala kang bibilin, wala kang babayaran to do Nothing. this. Mm. Nothing. So ang ganda, ang ganda niya, ang gandang ano. So God's gift here are the children. Yeah. God's gift is also in our bodies, mm-hmm. in the natural uh, signs that He's given us in order 
to have responsible parenthood, which is also a gift from God because it is the parents' generosity out of their love together for the children and then back to God. Ewan ko lang, no? parang kailangan natin ng part two. <laughs> It's so jam-packed. Punong-puno bawat statement. Yeah, med- medyo magpapasitabi lang kami yung mention like oh, there's like certain terms but these are um, real and uh, terms that we are using for married couples also like to be to be aware that the church is very open and very inviting like and the church knows your every situation that you are in as mag-asawa and then like ako nga nakikinig ako nga yung seraling yun It only encourages me more, encourages me more to be to be more like virtuous, to be to be mag marunong ako maglambing sa asawa ko in many different ways, not just in whatever or not just sexual way. Di ba parang the intimacy can be expressed, and the church is not stopping you from expressing your intimacy with each other as a couple. Galing. So yun nga, so hindi natin pala kalaban ng simbahan pag sinabi nila dapat open to life ka, dapat sampu anak mo. Uh-huh. Hindi. Meron pa lang ano, the, the church uh, understands kung ano ang dinadaanan natin, mahirap ang buhay ngayon and may, may sakit, whatever, no? Yun nga, yung kung ano man yung grave reason ninyo, pwede kayo mag-space ng children. And spacing of children should be done naturally, like Sir Raymond said. Mm. And that you just look at the natural signs. Sir Raymond, if they want to learn the Billings ovulation method, do you have a Facebook page where they can check out like kung may mga sessions kayo or seminars na nagtuturo nito? Sorry lang, they can go to the website. No? Lagay lang nila, wombinternational.org. Yeah. Or That's pwede silang manood ng ating may YouTube tayo, wombph. Oh, yeah. How do you spell that? W O O M B. Dalawang O. All right. Yeah. Wom P H. Two words. So yun so so. <laughs> itong um ating Billings ovulation method. Yes, it's for uh, married couples who are participating in the plan of God in the in the work of the Lord in bringing. Many more souls, many more, not just babies. No, if you really think about it, it's hmm. souls. So, you are yeah, part- yeah, you yeah. are participating in God's work. That's such an honor. Yeah, yung laking responsibility nun as mag-asawa. Eh, eh, dapat kayong dalawa din magkatugma and ang ng goal, which is perfection. Perfection. Yeah. Which is Galing. holy. All of us are called to be holy. Simply put, yes. Yeah. Thank you so much, Sir Raymond. Meron ka bang last words for our married couples out there who want to learn more about the Billings Ovulation Method? Wala naman. Kaya meron ako idadagdag dun sa sinabi mo, uh, sabi niyo dalawa na Paul and Denise, what makes the Billings Ovulation Method angat dun sa ibang NFP methods because also of this one. Nung dinevelop yan ni Dr. Billings, ang kanyang iniisip is how to accompany couples towards a life of holiness and not to be a slave of the evils of contraceptives. Ang kanyang end goal is salvation of souls. Yung, wow. yung dinedevelop niya yung billings ovulation method. Because yun ang gusto niya maging contribution sa, sa church, sa Catholic Church. Ang ganda. Wow. So to cap it off, honey, no, uh, I, is I think that encapsulates the main theme of our our theme of like building great families. Yes, great means here, um, not just like sikat kayo or sobrang galing nyo or abugado la uh, na anak mo. Mga anak mo. <laughs> great can also mean holy. Holy. Yeah. Galing. galing? Thank you so much, Sir Raymond, for being with us tonight. Thank you for giving thank us you. your time. And thank you for, for those who attended. Make, give us your comments, um, suggestions. If you want to invite Sir Raymond to, <laughs> to your parish or to, yes. to your place to give the um, natural family planning method, 
especially the Billings ovulation method. Yeah. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us tonight. This is Family Watch Live. I'm Denise Price. And I'm Paul. Saying <laughs> goodbye. Good night. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs>